Uh, so I started to uh, do a little research about computer languages, uh, what can I pick? And uh, <laughs> of course, if you ask the gaming community, all the games are written in C++, you have to learn that. So I picked C++ as a 10 years old kid, and uh, I did this. This was my first, my hovercraft is full of eels, uh, C out example, it took me a year. <laughs> a C in, another three years. There, there was actually, I got a book like this thick about uh, C++, and uh, there was a definition for methods, and in the definition, the word method was mentioned eight times in, a, in one sentence. So if you're a kid, you have no bloody clue how, how that kind of should work. Oh, four years. So then uh, I went to high school, and uh, I'm not really sure but why in the hell in Slovakia we teach kids Pascal. It is amazing language, though. It is so amazing that you learn it for what, four years, and then you will never use it in life. And this is how it looked uh, in Pascal. Right, so a bunch of commands, perfect for kids. Again, you, you come out of the school with the language that you are not gonna use, like, ever. Uh, what a shame that there is not a kind of clean and clear language that would help me to learn programming slightly easier maybe in one command. Right, so uh, of course then I went to uni, uh, again Pascal, why not? And then I dropped out of uni, because, well, this is how, how it goes. At uni, funnily enough, uh, at least for those three years I kind of hang on uh, there, uh, I, my ego was sky high. Th this was me, Th this is what I thought I am. The, 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 that's me, number one on a pedestal, uh, praise me because I know how to do C++ and not just Pascal and oh, all the programming is just so simple. Little did I, that I know um, when I dropped out and maybe with a half a year break I found my first programming job and uh, this is what happened, this is me and the ego got stamped really quickly. Uh, what happened was that I figured out that what I maybe learned and what I thought I know uh, was absolutely nothing compared to what's kind of required in business. Uh, first of all, uh, it was in PHP, so uh, every single good practice I learned, I had to quickly forgot just for my own sanity. Uh, the by, uh, f well, people were not really a programmers, so, you know, uh, if, you, if you're a, a person who's a designer and you are forced into creating a code because there's no proper developer around you, you're not gonna produce the best code ever. And this is my first job. So my first job was just to pick up after designers and redo it. It was in PHP. Uh, and after three years in the company, uh, they kind of showed me the other system they had somewhere shelved, uh, if I can have a look, and that was written in Python, and there it was, the almighty snake. No, Python. So this was revolutionary for me. So before I was maybe average developer, but suddenly this opened the doors to a proper development for me, because um, Python has, out of the box, some pieces that are amazing. So, OOP, everything is object. Well, it's really hard to grasp that a null is object, is there? Uh, then, well, this was added a bit later, but still awesome. And this one is really important. This means that uh, in PHP, if you want to learn that language or C++, uh, you get a book. And in that book, you learn about uh, printing, uh, maybe a little bit of uh, object-oriented programming about, uh, well, whatever gets you running. But to get uh, unit testing, well, th there's nothing. You have to find a special book for unit testing. In, PH uh, in Python, you have a module for that. It's there, it's ready for you to use, and it's almost every single beginner's guide to 
learn. You know, it's there. It, it, they show you. Look, do unit tests. They're great. They are, of course, great. Okay, so um, how maybe to get a job? So this is you. Uh, you're a. If you don't know, this is from Monty Python's sketch about the interview. Go for it. Watch it on YouTube. Maybe not now, but in in maybe ten minutes. Uh, so. Um, what do you need to know to get a job with Python? Uh, this is a web developer actually contract. So as you can see, no, the knowledge of Python is maybe not enough. It, it's never enough to know just one language to, to get a job. Uh, so if you're a developer, maybe you should have a look on uh, looking at Git. That's a cool tool. We all should use it. Uh, Test-driven development, as you can see, again, it's something kind of important, even for web developer. Again, if you remember, uh, maybe 20 years ago, uh, web de developer was a person who opened a notepad and was able to write HTML and maybe, well, 10 lines of something, uh, and that was it. You were a web developer. Now, you have to know Python, Django, Test-driven development, because, well, of course, web developer. Uh, Git, HTML, well, plenty of things. But this will land you a job. Now, if you have at least this package, you're going to get something out of it. Uh, all, uh, by the way, this is a real um, requirement I ripped off from uh, some site that they always bother me about get a job. Uh, I do have no, I have no um, approval from them. I don't really care. Uh, so, another sphere uh, where you can kind of get a job is uh, financial. Uh, in London, we have a lot of financial institutes, and they really require a lot of uh, Python developers. They, they do like to pay a lot. Uh, so, Django is used again here, uh, but you've got uh, libraries like NumPy, Pandas, uh, and a lot of requirements. Uh, slightly more than for web developer, but uh, you know, there's the language, the Python that you're gonna learn, and you're gonna kinda use it here. And you're gonna get money from that, do that. Uh, now, <laughs> if you want to be a data scientist, so for past few days we've been hearing here about data science, and uh, you can use, uh, Python there, just fine. Uh, some companies do require R uh, as well, but it is always good to know Python mainly because, yeah, you're gonna use it. Uh, this one is fun because uh, if you remember, uh, I'm not sure if I can go back, so this is web developer. Uh, speaking of which, this was senior contract web developer. This was financial developer. Uh, look at the number of requirements machine learning, slightly more. This is junior. And this is real commercial, so <laughs> they, they really want you to know this for junior. I'm pretty sure that the company is gonna look for a long, long time to get a junior like that. Uh, and <laughs> I found even better, and this is entry level Python developer. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Good luck to the company. Okay, so there's a lot of different places where you can kind of use this beautiful language. As you can see, I just picked up some job titles. Uh, chatbot developer it sounds like an amazing path for uh, LinkedIn. Uh, speaking of which, if, you're, if you have a LinkedIn and you have friends there who are developers and they do have XML as a skill, give it plus one. It is an amazing way how to appreciate their skill. Absolutely rubbish. <coughs> so yeah, the, uh, the, as you can see, there are a lot of fields uh, in, uh, in there, uh, in real life, where you can apply what you really want, and you can earn money, which is great, because you're gonna do what you like, and you're gonna eat after, uh, with that. Perfect. So, so now for something completely different, how to use Python for your own good. 
maybe like that. <laughs> no, um, so there are many projects that you you can kind of help out with or you can develop for yourself uh, using Python. I'm not saying it's a golden hammer that you're going to use and uh, every problem is suddenly a nail to hammer with. So you're not going to maybe develop uh, the best game ever in Python. Maybe you can, but well, good luck with that. It's like writing websites in Assembler, which is hard work, but, but there are many projects uh, that you can, uh, you can kind of do on your own. Uh, so one that I found was uh, Couch Potato. Have you seen Couch Potato? Uh, that's, uh, it's a Python project uh, for, I don't have a logo of that, but just look at me and that's it. Uh, so there's um, this uh, project, you install it on your computer and it downloads uh, films and TV series, I believe, to uh, your, do you, uh, uh, just for legal reasons, I don't use it. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um, pirating is bad, of course. Uh, don't do that because, uh, well, Johnny Depp is bankrupting, if you know, he can't afford his one million per month as an expense. But Kenny West is also uh, bankrupting because of pirates. His wife has to wear this dress that is not finished at all. Now, uh, so I picked up also, as I mentioned, I wanted to develop a game, so 20 years in, no game from me, but uh, there are games that were actually either developed in Python or uh, the Python is extensively used there, like Civilization, I believe, that uses Python for uh, some jobs, backend jobs. Uh, EVE Online is a stackless Python fully developed there, and this is one of those uh, kind of successful games and they do use it properly. So yeah, you can develop a game there. Uh, also, if you are a 90s kid and you do like maybe the Japanese culture, do Pie Dance. I don't do that, as you can see. Uh, so lots of games can be developed there. Um, also, uh, this is interesting project. Do you know the logo of that? It's Kiwi. It's not that Kiwi from outside with W. It's uh, Kiwi with single V. And it's a framework that helps you to develop uh, applications, uh, not web applications, but the real GUI applications that you can run. And those ones, uh, they're great because uh, in one framework, you're going to produce an application that runs on at least they say, uh, all uh, operating systems, but not only that, you can package it really easily and you can have it like this application, it's for mobile, right? So uh, you do one code base to rule them all, basically. Uh, first time I've finally seen uh, a framework that allows you to write an app and it works for uh, iOS, Android, Linux, Windows, nobody uses that. Uh, so for example, this is one uh, example. So this is on Google, uh, Google Play, I believe. And uh, this gives you um, a tool that if you say, uh, yeah, give me this URL, it will find through Google all the hopefully um, vulnerable uh, websites that you can uh, not hack, of course. Uh, but yeah, th this is one example for, uh, of an application. But there's also this Yeko, uh, and this is amazing pro uh, product. Uh, it is a product, you have to buy it, unfortunately. Uh, but this is for uh, musicians. If you have, um, if you know of a, a software called Ableton Live, it's a digital audio workstation. And that workstation, um, what it does is you can create the music in it. It is amazing. Uh, but this piece of software you install on any touch device you like and it provides you a MIDI control uh, to your computer so you have it like a joystick, you can take it out. It doesn't produce sound by itself, it is just a, an interface for you to communicate with your computer which sounds like, like a really, really cool uh, experiment, I would say, but no, I actually use it as well and uh, it is a massive piece of software that 
that person who wrote it is uh, really, really cool. Right, um, I guess it's time for me to go, unfortunately. So this is the end of the talk. It's been a pleasure. Uh, I don't think this might generate a lot of questions. Maybe none, uh, but if you have any unrelated as well, I will try to answer them. Uh, thank you very much for, for sharing your experience and, and knowledge. Um, uh, we really, you're right, we, we don't have questions, but uh, I would like to ask uh, uh, which platforms besides Django have you used in your professional career? Uh, from Python mainly then, uh, Django was the main one, but also Flask, uh, that is absolutely easy and simple to write a microservice on that. So, yeah, that was my second favorite. I don't have a third one, if there's another third um, favorite <laughs> question like we had before. Okay, uh, we already have uh, one question. So, if you are familiar with the, the PyBeware suite, how do you think it compares to uh, Kiwi? This is a really great question. Uh, I'm not familiar with it, so <laughs> the answer is I don't know. Uh, well, w what I liked about Kiwi is um, also the community is quite active and it's still in active development and they have quite a lot of backing uh, from other companies, so the, the, there is still quite a good support. Uh, speaking of support, uh, if you go on IRC and ask them a question, there's a good chance you're gonna get an answer, uh, maybe not 2 a.m but you know, in sensible times. So the helpful community around that, but that kind of goes for the complete Python community, which I believe it's one of the least toxic ones uh, or most helpful one. So yeah, the, I don't know, maybe the Pi uh, Beware is a lot better. Uh, so I'll have a look and I'll find out if they have a, a IRC channel so I can talk to them. Uh, was Pascal, sorry, uh, was Pascal was your f the very first language? If yes, would you choose a different language looking back? Uh, no, the first language, absolutely first first was basic. Uh, then it was C++ and then it was Pascal. Uh, then C++ was a mistake. Uh, Pascal was even worse. So yeah, if, if I could uh, look back and I, if I could teleport back uh, in time and choose differently, uh, I would definitely, I would go with Python. It was around from 1991 and uh, it would make my life a lot easier in that time, mainly because, you know, I didn't have the mental capacity to understand the structures of C++ at all. Uh, definitely Pascal, maybe, uh, but it was still, a, I think, a mistake to introduce it into schools at all. Uh, yeah, uh, there's not a lot of love coming from me to Pascal community, wherever they are. <coughs> uh, okay, how many swallows do we need to carry coconut? Can Python help with this task? Yes, it can. I'm pretty sure it can, and it depends if they're African swallows uh, or not. Um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely sure there is a library that you can import into your project, and it will solve that, or at least define uh, the answer. Okay, thank you. Uh, we have uh, a question. Why, why do you think that nobody uses Windows Phone? <laughs> I know they use them I just want to forget 